Hi there, it's Megan, and welcome to the Learn to Monetize More video series. In this tutorial, we're going to teach you the basics of uploading creatives in DFP. Images, content, HTML5, and text are just some of the digital assets that give life to an advertising space. And in DFP, we define them through creatives. Creatives are uploaded inside a line item, often taking advantage of a predefined template in DFP. Other times, creatives just look like a code snippet. We're going to teach you how to both upload a single creative and use the bulk function to upload multiple creatives. Are you ready? Let's get started. For starters, log into your DFP account and navigate to the Delivery Orders tab. You will notice on the left-hand side of the navigation panel a hyperlink to Creatives. You may need to scroll down the page just a tad in order to see the Creatives option listed. Click Creatives and you will be redirected to the Creatives page. We are now on the Creatives page. From here, we will be choosing our creatives and uploading them to a specific advertiser in DFP. Within the Creatives page, click on the Add Creatives button. Once the Add Creatives button has been clicked, a pop-up window will open. It's important to reiterate that you may only upload creatives associated to a particular advertiser. That is, creatives cannot be multi-purpose to more than one advertiser. This limitation is by design. It eliminates potential trafficking mistakes, whereby one advertiser's creative is served within another advertiser's ad slot. We certainly don't want that to happen, and neither does DFP. It's at this point within the Ad Creatives pop-up window that we can select the advertiser name. After choosing the advertiser the creative will be assigned to, click Continue. After you click Continue, you will be on the New Creatives page. It is here that you can upload your creative via two methods. We recommend trying each method at least once so you can get a feel for the upload options. This will help you determine the approach that works best for you. You can upload a creative by either dragging and dropping the creative file directly from your computer and into DFP, or you may choose the more manual process and select the creative type. As you may remember from previous lessons, you may upload a variety of creative types, including an image, a flash file, text and HTML third-party or double-click tags, or JavaScript third-party tags. In this lesson, we will upload a creative by implementing the second upload method, selecting the creative type and choosing image as our creative. After uploading the creative, DFP requests a bit more information. DFP first asks you to input a name for the creative. We recommend choosing a specific naming convention and following through for all creatives uploaded in DFP. One naming convention that works for many publishers is creative underscore size dot file type. For example, spring sales event underscore 728 by 90 dot JPEG. After assigning a creative name, choose the file from your computer. In this example, we are uploading an image file, so I will do that now. After the creative is uploaded with the name specified, DFP will ask you to assign the creative's click-through URL. This is the landing page where the web visitor will land after clicking on your advertiser's creative. Your advertiser will provide the click-through URL to you. With the creative name and click-through URL associated with your creative, you will need to specify the size of the ad slot or placement. This is the ad space on your web page where the creative will serve. The ad unit size will be the same size as the creative in which you are uploading. Next up, add a label. Labels are valuable for organizational purposes. You may group objects based on frequency capping, add exclusions, creative wrappers, among other grouping options. We're almost finished adding all of our creative details. Before saving the creative, you have the option to add custom fields in DFP. Custom fields may be useful to you depending on your data and reporting needs. Finally, after inputting the custom creative fields, it's time to click Save. Once the creative and corresponding details are saved, you may view the creative in preview mode. That's all there is to it when it comes to uploading a creative in DFP. Your advertiser may have just a handful of creatives or she may have literally hundreds of creatives. 
If the latter is the case, you won't want to upload each creative individually, in which case the situation calls for the bulk upload option. With the bulk upload, you can upload multiple creatives to an advertiser within one shot. Again, as creatives cannot be shared among various advertisers, you can only choose the bulk upload option and assign creatives to a single advertiser. Let's move forward and go over the details about how the bulk upload works and how you can upload multiple creatives at once. With bulk upload, you may upload up to 50 creative files at one time, including creatives packaged within zip files. One caveat to the bulk upload function, however, is to be sure that the creatives are properly formatted. That is, third-party or double-click tags must be in text or HTML format. Bulk upload follows a similar process to uploading a single creative. As with single upload, you will begin at the Delivery Orders tab and identify the Creatives link on the left-hand side of the navigation panel. From the Creatives page, choose the name of the advertiser and click Continue. Now it's time to either drag and drop the files from your computer or manually select the files from your computer. As you can only upload 50 files at once, including zip files, it helps to have your multiple creatives well organized before this step. Either package the files in zip files first, or be sure your creatives are no more than 50 items. Once you upload the files, DFP will automatically identify the creative type and set it up in the system for each file upload. With your creative files uploaded, you will now select the target ad unit size for each. You may also drill into the settings option for each creative and insert macros. Macros are inserted in the creative code of custom and third-party creatives to enable additional ad features. This is an optional DFP feature and it's not necessary to go into a higher level of detail at this time. This concludes our lesson on how to upload creatives in DFP. With a bit of practice, you will be well on your way to uploading creatives quickly and easily, whether you upload each creative individually or use DFP's bulk upload option. We hope you enjoyed our video today. Stay tuned for more updates by subscribing to our blog and YouTube channel. Bye, and we hope to see you again soon.